Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to fix the high idle on an 84 BMW M10 car. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for a while because a guy on NC E30 group showed me how to do this or actually told me how to do it. I tried to look up to see some videos. I'm a visual learner, um, but I didn't find a whole lot of information on it. So let me start off by showing you the problem. As you can see, my idle is like 1300, 1400 RPM, somewhere in that neighborhood. It's not crazy for it being cold. I, I haven't ran the car at all yet. Um, but even after it warms up, it stays in this area, which is kind of annoying at a stoplight. Everybody thinks I'm trying to race them. All right, so first things that I checked, you know, I looked into this idle air control valve. I, I did the little test to it, make sure it was clicking, cleaned it. You know, did all that. It, the idle, this valve is good. Um, then I went into the dash. There's a little control box in the dash that I guess controls this thing. That is actually bad. I haven't been able to find one. And again, a guy in that, uh, that little group uh, told me about this method of fixing it. So basically what he said to do <clears throat> was take and put a penny in, in this little circuit here and drill a hole in that penny so that it limits how much air goes through there. So let me, uh, let me get this apart and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. All right, so <clears throat> with that valve off, I mean, like I said, I cleaned all this out, made sure it was clicking or whatever it's supposed to do and it's, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Um, I checked power here. Um, you know, I didn't have anything going on there and I checked the wire from there to the box in the glove box. <clears throat> Everything was good there. So, like I said, guy told me, hey, cut a penny, you know, put a hole in a penny and shove it into this tube. Well, <clears throat> I looked at doing the penny option, but I actually, I liked the way a nickel fit in there a little bit better. And I don't remember what size hole this is. It's not a big hole. It's smaller than a quarter, <laughs> bigger than an eighth, somewhere in that neighborhood. And this... This worked for my car, so you could start with that or maybe try a smaller hole or a bigger hole to get, you know, get your desired results. This is what worked for me, but basically what I was doing is, if I can get the GoPro to stand up here, is I basically took this and placed it kind of like right there in this tube. the reason I like the nickel is it won't go into there it kind of sets flush with that assembly or with that little little nipple there I don't know if you can see how that's pretty flush it like it won't go in it's almost the same size so you can see this I've actually this has already been in there so it's a little dirty on that side clean on that one so I push it in there like that I don't worry about getting it started just <clears throat> just get it started don't worry about pushing it all the way in and then I mean I literally just take and shove it on there and it the nipple itself off that uh, intake kind of helps hold it flat and flush I doubt you can see it in there but it's in there so then it's as simple as just reinstalling everything
<clears throat> there so it's all back together i mean it's a pretty quick deal um it it didn't take me any time to figure out what size uh hole to drill because like i said i drilled that first hole and that gave me the results i wanted um you may you may have to it may cost you 15 cent you know try three different sizes see which one see which one gets you the desired idol that you're looking for keep in mind that i've already tried adjusting the timing i've already tried adjusting the idle itself i could not get this idle to go down past 1300 rpms if i did if i dropped it too low with the timing the car ran like crap and had no power so with that being done <clears throat> see where it's at now yeah see there uh, I don't know if you can see that but yeah so I'm idling right around a thousand <clears throat> and it, it'll go down a little bit when it warms up not much but I'm okay with that um, you know I guess some colder weather you might have a little more trouble with but for me for me it worked great I still got I still got a belt squealing but other than that <clears throat> it runs great smokes like a freight train that's why I'm putting a motor in it but yeah I hope this video helps um, and you know if you got any questions, hit me up. I'll be happy to try to answer them the best I can. So, there you go. Thanks.